Light independent reactions are necessary for plants to make G3P. This will then be used in amino acid synthesis and fatty acid synthesis. G3P will also be used to make glucose phosphate, which will then make cellulose, starch, and then added to fructose phosphate, sucrose. These organic molecules are all necessary for plant and animal life. This series of reactions use carbon dioxide to form carbohydrates in a cyclic manner. This cycle is divided into three reactions, carbon dioxide fixation, carbon dioxide reduction, and regeneration of RUBP. These take place within the core of plastic plant cells after the light-dependent reactions have taken place. More specifically, these reactions take place in the fluid membrane surrounding the thylakoids, the stroma of the chloroplast. During carbon dioxide fixation, carbon dioxide molecule from the atmosphere attaches to RUPV. This forms one six carbon molecule which splits into two three carbon molecules called 3PG. This process uses the RUPG carboxylase enzyme. This enzyme is very abundant in the chloroplast in order to speed up the reaction. The 3PG are then used in carbon dioxide reduction. First, 3PG becomes BPG when ATP is added. The ATP then becomes ADP plus P. Next, the BPG becomes G3P when NADPH is added. The NADPH then becomes NADP plus. This sequence signifies the reduction of carbon dioxide to a carbohydrate. Energy and electrons needed for this reaction are supplied by ATP and NADPH. The reactions of this cycle are multiplied by three. This is because it takes three cycles to allow one G3P to exit. This occurs because five of six G3P molecules made in three cycles are used to regenerate three RUPV molecules during the last reaction with the help of three ATP molecules. These reactions will cease after no light is available for the light-dependent reactions.